Hi everybody, welcome back to the I'm Ready Test Kitchen. I'm Lauren and I'm going to be teaching you how to make raspberry lemonade cheesecake bars today using our lemonade artisan natural flavor and our raspberry swirl. The swirl is perfect for adding into any of your sweet treats. You can just drizzle it on, swirl it in, pop it in the oven. It won't lose any color and it also contains real fruit, as does our artisans. And we'll also be using our Madagascar bourbon vanilla extract just to add a touch of vanilla flavor because what baked good doesn't have vanilla? I feel like it goes in everything. So let's uh, get to mixing. So again, like I said, this is a super simple recipe. You can use a food processor, that's what I'm using, or you can use a blender. And what you're going to wanna do is add in, we have here some flour. So dump it in. I have some graham cracker crumbs because we want this to have a nice graham cracker crust, but we want it to still have a little bit of a softer consistency. Dump that in. Some salt. Granulated sugar. Pour it on in. And I have some cubed butter here. This is still cold, so if you're prepping everything ahead of time, cube your butter, put it back in the fridge until you're ready to start making the crust. So I'm just gonna dump it in. Okay. And we're just going to pulse this a few times until it starts to look crumbly and everything is well mixed together. All right, everything is nice and combined. We're just going to remove our food processor from here, set it to the side. And I have pre-lined this with some parchment paper. You'll want to use parchment paper for this recipe because at the end, we're going to pull the entire cheesecake out of here. This makes it a hundred times easier. So let's just take the lid off very carefully. Remove the blade from your food processor. If you're using one, they are very, very sharp. And we're just going to dump this in and press it out. Make sure you press it into the edges, along the side, try and make it as e even as possible. And it smells so good. It smells, I mean, I don't know. It smells like butter and graham cracker, but to me, that's like an incredible smell. That, that's when you know something good's gonna come. And I think we are good to go. So next step is we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. And while it's baking, we're going to make the filling. So let's pop it in the oven. While our crust is baking, we're going to make the filling. So we will start with our cream cheese and some granulated sugar. We're going to cream this together until it's nice and smooth. Start on slow so you don't have the uh, sugar jumping out of your bowl. We want all that sugar, it's a sweet treat. We don't wanna lose any of it. If you have a stand mixer, you can also do this in there with the whisk attachment. Our cream cheese and sugar is nice and creamed together. So we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients here. I have three eggs, room temperature. Not the best egg cracker, so no shells this time. I like that. Um, I have some flour, our Madagascar bourbon vanilla extract, and now I have our lemonade artisan here. Let's pour that in, make sure we get every single last delicious drop. You do not wanna waste any of this. And some agave. Okay, let's mix it all together. I'm going to scrape down the sides of my bowl a little bit just to make sure we have everything very well incorporated and there's nothing stuck to the bottom. And then give it one last mix. Awesome, so we are done with our filling. We'll set this aside, we'll go get our crust and we'll fill our crust and add in our raspberry swirl. It is time for our Final step, we're going to cover our crust with our filling. So just dump it on top. Easy as that. Scrape all of that deliciousness into your pan. Now it's time to add our raspberry swirl. I'm just gonna open this up. We're gonna add about a tablespoon or two, but I'm just going to drizzle it on top.
All right, and once we're drizzled, we're just going to take a knife and uh, swirl it in. To give yourself a nice, pretty raspberry swirl effect. All right, perfect. Now we will just pop this back in the oven for about 30 minutes. Once it's done for 30 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to let it sit out and cool down for about 20 to 30 minutes. Pop it in the refrigerator for about five hours or overnight, and then it is ready to eat. So this is the hardest part, is having to wait to eat it. It does take a little bit of time for it to set and come together, but it is worth it, I promise. Here we have our finished raspberry lemonade cheesecake bars. All we're gonna do now is just carefully lift them out of the pan. I'm gonna pull back the parchment paper, and parchment paper is super easy to use because it just literally just slides off. That took no work, no effort, it wasn't hard. And I'm just going to top this with a little bit of powdered sugar. So just give a nice dusting on top. And even if you want, you can garnish it as well with maybe some fresh raspberries, maybe a little bit of whipped cream, but we're just gonna go really simple right now. Let's cut it, let's see how it tastes. All right. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I wish I could let you guys smell it. When is smell vision coming to camera? One day. Oh my gosh, amazing. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it from this far away. Um, it has a really nice swirl in there of the raspberry. It stayed in place. It didn't spread throughout the cake during the baking process. So with each bite, you're gonna get a nice burst of real fresh fruit flavor, along with that nice sweet and tart lemonade. Let's try. This is where it's at. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And it's easy, because I mean, cheesecake usually takes a little bit longer to make, it's a little bit more finicky. This is super simple. You just need a couple of ingredients in an oven, in a pan, and you're good to go. This is great for just a treat for the family, bringing to parties. Summer's just around the corner, so this is great for bringing to barbecues for a little sweet treat after dinner or throughout the day, whenever you want it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you make it at home, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new recipe or some Amoretti tips and tricks. You can find us on social media, at Amoretti on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and TikTok. See you next time.